my hands are gonna be like Barney's hands. Oh yeah, yeah that's more silver now. Mm -hmm. Now we just gotta cut the top a little bit more, right? Yeah, this looks crazy. I kinda, I, it looks like a rock star. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It looks like Jock and Seller right now. Yeah. Yeah. You're doing it. I don't care. I'm doing it while you're sleeping. You guys both play Fortnite skins. <laughs> that I'd purchase. <laughs> it's nice, right? I really like it. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, me too. I me too. I didn't think I, I did. it was a lot better than I thought it was. Like, I like it. I like the way it came out. More so like I was really happy. Thank you. I'm on tomorrow. No, I'm just kidding. Thank you. Right, shop is closed. Goodbye, everyone. I'm done for the day. Sam, you know what? What's our arrival location? Loading dock. What's up, Eunice? How are you? I'm Nico and I see you, man. Welcome back to Afternoon Footy Live from Las Vegas. Well, we are absolutely thrilled to be joined by a guy who has 25 caps for the U.S. men's national team, and he is about to take the field with USA against Mexico. Eunice Musa, how you doing? I am well, thanks so much. Welcome to Afternoon Footy. How does it feel to be at this desk? <laughs> it feels really nice. Like I always watch these kind of shows, and it's nice to be here today. <laughs> Mexico in 2021 yes. heading into this Nations League. They were the top team and they had players to strike fear in you, Tecatito, yeah, yeah. Chucky Lozano. Now it, it feels like the roles are reversed and you are the top dogs and you have all the players that strike fear into them. How do you plan on dealing with them today? What What is the key to success? The thing that's helped us in previous games have been the hunger and the determination and the work ethic that we put in those games. We just like on the pitch, like we felt that we wanted to win more than them, you know. You can't um, go into these games thinking that we're a better team. Uh, there's not many big names in the squad or something because these players now they they want to prove themselves, you know. So yeah, we have to want even more than them, be more hungry than them. Thank you so much for taking the time thank to you, join us here today. Best of luck tonight. Yeah. Um, cheering for you always. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Awesome. Front line is electric. <laughs> Christian Pulisic and Timothy Ware, they know what it takes to get behind this Mexican back line. But the X factor is my man up top, Valer and Balligan. Let's go, let's go. Big dog. Big dog. Let's go, let's go. Okay. Deep breath. Deep breath, right? Look around. Everything we need here tonight to be victorious is locked up right here. Okay? We're going to do it together. We don't control results, guys. We don't control them. But what we do control is the effort that we put in over the entire match. And it's going to take maximum effort. Leave everything you have on the field. Okay? Take this away. Let's go, man. Hey, we're not the underdogs here anymore. So let's go out there and let's make a statement. Let's go. Come on, come on, boys. Okay? Go, on three, USA. One, two, three. USA! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Death Star. It's a semi final showdown between the CONCACAF's traditional powerhouses, the USA and Mexico. And Pulisic will sprint. He's got options to the inside. Pulisic may finish it himself. Christian Pulisic! He was toying with the Mexican defense. Dast. Pulisic tried to get a piece. Wea. Reyna went down. Pulisic pounces, Pulisic, he is the man in the mirror, he scores against Mexico again, 1-0 USA. Halftime in Las Vegas, USA 1, Mexico 0. Wes, you guys are doing so good at coming back and winning that second ball. Keep doing it because they can't keep up with you. Keep playing too though, keep playing too. We're now playing at an intensity and a physicality that they can't keep up with. It's unsustainable for them. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.
Run away in the second 45, USA 1, Mexico 0. Donde viene esta proyección larga. Vamos a ver a Wea. Va a ganar por velocidad. Se mete al área. Sí, los dos. Quite the physical effort, and this is bubbled over. Montez shown red. A straight red card. And this has gotten totally out of hand. So McKenney gets a new shirt, but it's not going to matter. Yeah, Weston McKenney is the one who's been sent off. And Balogun's day is done. Ricardo Pepe replaces the U.S. debutante. Ball through. Pepe. Pepe rounds Ochoa and puts it in. Ricardo Pepe puts the U.S. ahead. Yellow card shown, Dast just put his hand in the face of Arteaga. Another red card, and this has all gone sideways. They've ended this five minutes early. The United States win this 3-0. Let's go, man. Let's try to put everything that just happened really into context first. Okay, that's important. You guys just put in a hell of a... The way that we play, we should be super proud. Okay? The way we pressed, the intensity, the way we built, the dynamic ways that we were attacking, the ways we were scoring goals. Those are all unbelievable positives that have come from this situation. And we can't not celebrate that. Understand? So the feeling in here should be fine, okay? The situation with the red cards and the referee in the Mexico game, this is the shit that happens, and we got caught up in it. I know that it comes from a good place. I do. I know that it comes from sticking up for each other and defending each other. But we have to take accountability. Referees have to take accountability. Mexico has to take accountability. But what we control in here right now is our accountability, okay? But we have solutions in here to step up. That's why we're a team of 23. That's why we're brother. That's why we're fighting for each other from a good place. Because now it's going to be someone else's time to step up because our objective is still to lift another trophy and it's still right there for us. Nothing's changed. Okay? But enjoy it. Enjoy it because you guys earned it. Three, zero guys. Like, that's amazing. So enjoy it. And be okay. humble with the guys. Right? Enjoy it tonight. Enjoy it tonight. But we're right. here to win the final. Yeah. We're here to beat Canada. Come That's on. a great point. It's one step closer to where we got. All right? Go ahead. I just want to say, I'm sure, Serge, also, sorry from the bottom of our hearts, literally. But I, like Beach said, we have solution to everything. This whole team, everyone that's in here, that's what matters. And I have complete faith in every single last one of the youth players that we're going to lift another trophy come the 18th, and then we can celebrate even harder, all right? So, adios.